Playboy Cardi. I think he hmm. used AI to become future on that new song. Is that AI or just like voice modulation? That was the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I just want to say, like, because I'm listening, I'm like, oh, new Playboy Cardi song. Let me let me see what what it has to offer. So I'm watching. I'm you know I'm listening to the song and I'm like, oh, okay, he's got future on the first verse. Okay, when's when's Cardi coming in? The song ends and I'm like, he changes up his voice all the time. He does the baby voice and he gets old and he gets cool. But he sounds just like future on this new song. I know designer kicking himself like, what the fuck? He sounds he mad at, just, like, mad, like mad at I can't even tell. Can you tell the difference between Future and Cardi's new song? I mean, a little bit, a little bit. I, well, I, I listen to Cardi a lot, so I, I know like certain little things he does. If I was Future, I'd be mad. I'd do a diss song. Mm. Like, I, I, I try to beat him up over that shit. Cause, especially considering, like, this is not a designer. Designer was like a new artist and he came up through that by using a similar sound and, you mm -hmm. know, the, the song was catchy or whatever else. Like, Cardi's one of the biggest artists in the world. Right? Yeah. Cardi's, especially in hip-hop, I, I, you could easily say Cardi's top ten. Maybe even top five. I think Future probably blessed it. Not even probably, definitely. Uh, the reason why is uh, Cardi's been with Weekend a lot, XO. He's with that camp. I think that's why he wasn't on the Drake song. Um, EXO manages Future, EXO, oh, future, future, yeah, okay, future like Metro, like all of them is like anti Drake. All right, I mean, listen, I, I, I just thought it was kind of pathetic to be honest. I mean, honestly, he, he got ranked like, number one as the the hottest uh, artist on the on the thirty by Complex, hottest artist. In, I mean, in, he is he is a force. Like I get it. Like he he's. Uh, you know, like maybe this is my age talking, but there's like certain artists where like not nah, Cardi's. You don't like Cardi? Nah, not nah, Cardi's guy. Cardi, Yeet, Yeet Fire too. Um, Destroy Lonely, D Destroy Hit or Miss for Me. Those are like three artists that I could honestly say I just don't quite get the appeal, and I would like to get it. And you know, some of the Yeet stuff is kind of cool. Like some of Cardi's. Stuff Everybody's is, the everybody you name are descendants off of Cardi's tree. Yeah, I get it. So Cardi is he, he's a version of Chief Keith where his influence just has people building their own yeah, like no, thing. I, I get it. I get it. Like, you know, I'm not like I, I understand the artistry in a Travis Scott. I definitely understand the artistry in Kendrick and Drake and stuff like that. But but those three, I'm like, oh, another one, um Lucky. Oh, Lucky, yeah. Another one. Yes. Yeah. Those four. Those four, on fire. and you see him doing these huge arenas and stuff like that. So clearly, I'm in the minority. Clearly, they have a big following. Well, well, but when well, I listen most to most of it, their following is under 25. So maybe me being 51, yes, I'm just not connecting to it. But I feel like, as a music and, person, and, 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 and they don't try to make songs that break out of their bubble to succeed. Like even he sounded kind of like Future on um. On um the song was it Carnival, whatever song that went number yeah. one. Yeah, he kind of had he was doing that. Now, now like this new song. No, no, no. Now, yeah. now he's he sounding a little bit song. more, but yeah. he's been playing with his voice a lot. Like again, Cardi's just an enigma where like he's a mainstream artist appealing to a niche audience. Same with he. Yeah, no, and that's the thing. But I, I feel like as like someone, like Cardi's biggest song is an unreleased song right now. Huh. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah, it's, it's an unreleased song. It hasn't been on DSPs, um, but it's so hard. He performs it. They sing it word for word. It's not It's not out. No, listen, I, I just feel like as a music person, someone who used to produce, someone who DJ'd. The best <laughs> so line is, forth, I'm I, trying to be Cardi, not Mike. Mm. I'm telling you, it's hot. It's yeah, fire. I mean, look, like, I, I feel like I should understand the artistry of it, but... I'm not quite getting it, and it's it annoys me because clearly there's a big audience of people that do. And I don't just want to say, well, I'm just older because I should be able to understand art regardless of my age. I, I, it, it was explained to me that Cardi makes mu music for a feeling as opposed to okay, other things. And, and it's like yeah. he's no feeling really listening to those lyrics like that. It's, yeah, really it's, more it's of a like vibe. a feeling. Yeah, and, Travis um, Scott is the same way, but I feel like Travis... Is a little more traditional, yeah, and 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 high energy, and some of some of the um, riffs and chorus are, are really more infectious and captivating. Yeah. That that you, you could be like, okay, you know, I, no, I, I yeah, like Travis. This. I fully get. 
Like I'm looking forward to the next Travis album. I, yeah. I, I listen to Utopia quite a bit. I listen to uh, the album before that Astral quite World. a bit. Yeah, Astro World quite a bit. I I get it. I get it. I I even hear the Kanye influences and stuff like that in some of his earlier stuff. But he's evolved to be who he is. I understand Tyler, the creator. I understand the creativity that goes into his music. You know, uh, but. Lucky Destroy Lonely, I try to listen to their stuff, and I'm like, I'm just not quite getting it. You got, you got to check out Ken Carson. I think I heard some of his stuff, and once again, not... Is his stuff a little different? Am I just... No, nah, it's kind of the same. It's kind of the same thing, yeah. I listen to some of his stuff, and it's like... I listen. Trust and, me. And I'm, I'm not hating. I'm no, not hating. I'm more, so. I'm more frustrated, frustrated with myself. Like, I'm, why am I not quite getting it, but these millions of kids are? When you go and enjoy their music, sometimes you got to see the appeal of what it's doing to the kids, mm. right? And then you'll start to understand it more. You got to kind of almost you go to a show, almost. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I, when I go to when I go to rapper shows or anybody shows, should I even went to party next door show? Like I, I'm usually people watching. Like I was with someone and they're like, "Yo, why are you just looking at all the girls?" I'm like, "No, no, I'm looking at how they're relating to them because he's singing songs I don't know." And I could see like they're in tears, like, 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 like I see, I see some of them like grabbing their phone and like sending like texts to their exes and stuff. I'm like, oh my yeah. god, like this is wow, this is one of those. So yeah, man, listen, I'm I'm happy for all these guys, but I don't want to be the old guy on the porch. Oh, this old music sucks. I'm gonna listen to Tribe Called Quest and Nas's first album. No, no, I'm not, I'm not that. That's Ari Spears. Ari Spears is that. I am not that. <laughs> yeah, he's a Jay Z guy for real. <laughs> yeah. You know, but it's like, I'm, I'm happy. Like, I'm happy that hip-hop is progressing and turning into something that's not traditional and merging more with, you know, because a lot of rock songs, you don't know what the fuck they're saying either, but it's the vibe. It's, yeah. the, it's the, the energy of it all. You know, the punk rock and everything else like that. So I'm, I'm happy that it's evolving. It's turning into something a little bit different and uh, gaining traction. And these guys are, you know, multimillionaires in, in their early 20s and, and so forth. Like, I'm, I'm happy, man. I'm happy. I just wish I understood it a little more.